Hey, it's Rob. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the looper and drum machine functions on Perform VE. Let's dive into it. First thing we're gonna do is make a cool sample synth sound that we can loop on the Perform VE, so I'll just take a quick sample. And we'll just add some reverb. Next up, let's figure out which drum sounds we want to use for our loop. The way you access the drum sounds on VE is through the looper button. Uh, on the bottom left corner here, there's the kick. And in the bottom right corner, there's the snare. And when the looper's activated, the headphone button triggers the hi-hat sound. The kick and the snare in the Perform VE both have four samples, which we can access by holding down either button. So let's hold down the kick and go through the different kick sample options. I really like the third one, it's kind of punchy. So let's use that. And for the snare, there's a clap. I'm gonna use the clap for this. And there's only one hi-hat sample, it's just a classic sounding 808 or 909. It sounds really good, so you don't need more than one. Next up, let's record a quick drum loop. One thing that's really cool about the looper on Perform VE is that it allows you to record a one bar drum loop and then add a multi-bar chord progression over top of it. Whereas on other loopers, you'd have to record as many bars of drums as you want of chords. So let's do that. We're gonna record a drum loop. So we arm the looper by just pressing the loop button and you know it's armed when it's flashing. And then as soon as we press one of the drum notes, then it'll start recording the loop. Now, I don't really like that snare bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete just the snare we can pause the looper by pressing the tap button, which is what I did there. In order to delete any of the drum voices or just the loop, you can do that by holding the set button and pressing which part of it you wanna delete. In this case, I just wanna delete the snare, so I'm just gonna hold set and press snare. I'll play the loop so you can hear it happen. So now the snare is gone. Next, let's loop the sample synth patch we made. One really cool feature that the Perform VE has is a sidechain compressor built in. The sidechain compressor is linked to the kick on the Perform VE, so whenever the kick fires, it compresses whatever else is playing. So if I have a pad using the vocal sample synth, or if I have another synth that's plugged in using the aux input, the sidechain compressor will compress that or make it kind of duck in volume whenever the kick goes. I'll show this just using the loop we made. Firmware 2.0 adds the ability to loop the auxiliary input on the Perform VE, meaning that any instrument like this that you put through it can be used with the sidechain compressor and with the looper. Today we're gonna to be using the DeepMind 12 from Behringer. We're gonna be adding some synth bass and some pads. Uh, let's just start by adding some bass to our loop. So I'll just press the looper button.
a couple of different instruments or synths or drum machines and you wanna combine them all, the V is a great way to do that. The V is also a great way to supplement a live performance with synths. At this price, just the Perform VE's looper and drum machine make it worth it. And that's not even touching the sample synthesizer and all the other vocal effects that it has. That last loop was a really standard example of something you'd use a looper for. Let's try something that's a little bit more experimental. This is gonna be just a really short loop, and the goal of it is to create kind of an interesting background texture under what I'm going to be playing on the DeepMind. Let's just go into this. I'm gonna make a really short loop, you'll see. Bands like Radiohead use technique. I just want to mention Radiohead in a video. <laughs> Tom York, notice me. Bands like Radiohead have been using looping techniques like this for years, where they'll create a really short textural thing and then play it underneath whatever the rest of their song is, and it just fills out the mix a little bit. And that's another thing that you can do with the looper and drum machine on the VE. The looper on Perform VE also allows you to quantize it to MIDI clock or tap tempo. You can toggle this on and off by pressing the tap and set buttons at the same time. So when the ring lights up solid green, then it's unquantized. And when it lights up kind of dotted, then it's quantized. Quantization on the VE locks into the nearest 16th note, meaning that if you play a drum note when quantization is on and it's just a little bit off the beat, the VE will knock it into the nearest beat, which can really help if you're having trouble getting your drum loops synced to tempo, or you need them to be synced with another instrument that you have connected with MIDI to the VE. Quantization just makes the VE way more versatile when it's playing along with other instruments or when you're working with the digital audio workstation. Above all else, the Looper on Perform VE is fun, accessible, and inspiring. It's super easy for beginners to get into or for more advanced players. And it's got a lot of features that set it apart from other loopers like the drum machine or the sidechain compressor. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, pick up a Perform VE from your local dealer.